Yeah, yeah hello. hello! Today let's talk about a different virtual world build. This build incorporates the bun list. If you follow my virtual world build, the only UR card you need to make this work is XX Saber Got Toms. And this build is very easy to follow. Let's quickly go over the key cards. This guy revives himself when used as synchro material. This guy tribute himself to remove one card from opponent's hand. This guy revives the last guy from graveyard. This guy discards a material and banish one card from opponent's hand. And most importantly, the previous four guys we just talked about are not once per turn. This guy is just used to upgrade Croco Dragon or Cloud Castle for OTK next turn. The demonstration I will be showing you will be based on custom duel or solo mode, because as you can see, I absolutely cannot record in rank or casual duel. Everyone just assume I play VFD and surrenders. Duel, duel start. start. Note that opponent did not use hand trap. For the purpose of full combo demo, this deck can play through negate depending on your starting hand. So far we normal summoned Beast of the Pharaoh. Special summon Nyan Nyan using emergency teleport. Special summoned Lily, then dump Qinglong and Xianwu to graveyard. Use Qinglong to add Lulu. Then special summon her by dumping Chu Che. Add Kalun. 3 plus 3 Synchro Coral Dragon. Because Pharaoh is used as Synchro material, trigger its effect special summon a level 4 or lower zombie in graveyard. The target we pick is itself. 3 plus 6 Synchro into Got Toms. Trigger Coral when sent to graveyard. Draw a card. Trigger Pharaoh again to summon himself. It keeps coming back. That's kind of funny. Trigger Got Tom's effect to tribute one X Saber monster to discard one card from opponent. And the tribute can be himself. Trigger Xian Wu and special summon Lulu. 3 plus 3 plus 3 Synchro summon Croco Dragon. Then draw two cards which is equal to the number of non-tuners used for his Synchro summon. And of course Pharaoh is coming back again. Trigger Nyan Nyan Graveyard Effect when a level 3 is summoned. Special summon her from graveyard as a tuner. 3 plus 6 Synchro into Cloud Castle. Trigger Castle Effect and special summon Got Toms from graveyard. Trigger Nyan Nyan Banished Effect and send a card that's useful to us next turn back to deck. Trigger Got Toms Effect again tribute himself to discard opponent hand. Special summon Lao Lao by sending Nyan Nyan and special summon Lulu from graveyard. Banish Chu Che and increase Lulu level by 3. 6 plus 3 Synchro into Cloud Castle again. Trigger Castle effect again to special summon Got Toms. And our lovely animal is coming back again. Trigger Got Toms effect again to discard opponent hand. Using 2 leveled 9 XYZ into Phantom Fortress Enter Blackner. Trigger Fortress Effect, discarding a material and banish one card from opponent hand. 3 plus 6 Synchro into Shinshin. The beast keeps coming back. Again using 2 level 9 XYZ into Fortress. Trigger Fortress Effect again to banish the last card. And then we completed Hand Destruction. Next game let's take a look at a starting hand where we don't have Pharaoh. Place Chu Che using Kowloon, just in case we banished or draw it using Pot. Use Pot to grab two cards. Lulu dump spell and add monster. By the way, I noticed some cards like two guys earlier that are missing from your deckers. Those are earlier version of build, because I noticed I don't really use 2-2 graveyard effect and lacking some draw consistency. Since we haven't used our normal summon yet, Let's use Qing Long to grab the last card Nian Nian. Then dump Xian Wu to graveyard as cost. 3 plus 6 into Got Toms. Make opponent discard a card. Now that we have materials in graveyard, trigger Lao Lao target trap, dump monster and special summon Lily from graveyard. 3 plus 6 into Cloud Castle. Revive Got Toms. Then discard another opponent card. Now that we send Nyan Nyan to Graveyard, special summon the last level 3 Virtual World Monster.
Trigger GG Target Trap and Dump Anything. Trigger Nyan Nyan Special Summon as Tuner. 3 plus 6 into Cloud Castle again. Got Toms. Note that Nyan Nyan's Banished Effect can send any card from Banished Pile back to deck. This includes face down banished cards by Pot of Desire. By the way, as always, the list is provided in the description below. Discard. Banish Shen Wu and Special Summon Lao Lao. Discard Chu Che as cost. 3 plus 6 into the last Cloud Castle. Got Toms, get back to the field. This deck seems fun. How is the strength against new decks? This is at best rogue deck. If you already have built virtual world deck, after VFD gets banned, you can give this a try for fun. What else on the weakness? Decks that have lot of graveyard effect like Eldlick is bad match because they can make use of our discard effect. Cards that make sense to graveyard to banished instead like Thunderace is also bad matchup since we are using a lot of graveyard effects. But but but, guess who got hit by the ban list? Eldlick and Flunderies! Aside from that, since this is still virtual world as core engine, you inherit some of weakness. For example, deck can be bricky at time. Now here is what you do to OTK, after denying opponent from doing anything. Trigger Fortress again to banish opponent only card. Trigger Lao Lao and Special Summon GG from Graveyard. Since we summoned a level 3, Trigger Nyan Nyan Graveyard Effect and Special Summon her as Tuner. 9 plus 3 Synchro Summon Geomathmech Final Sigma. This is used as attacker since both Cloud Castle and Croco Dragon ain't good attackers. 3 plus 6 Synchro, Summon Shin Shin. Then we have enough damage for lethal. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.